Hey guys, so I wanted to give you all a little bit of an update. Um, so as of this morning, today is actually Mother's Day that I am filming this. As of this morning, I no longer work at my church secretary job. My boss texted me this morning. Well, actually, um, she texted me this morning in between church services because I was not in church this morning because I was having satellite internet um, installed here at the house. Um, <clears throat> she texted me this morning to ask if I could stop by the church, um, either tomorrow or Tuesday. And, um, it was just really like over the past week, I have been really bothered by like some of the stuff that's going on. Like for example, um, I think it was Friday. She, I got notification that the secretary emails for the church, the passwords were changed and the recovery emails were changed. And because I had all of those set to my email, because I'm the only one that uses that email address. And when I went to go check and see what was going on, because I thought it had been hacked, um, it was her phone number and her email instead of mine now. Um, so that was my first red flag that, you know, I wasn't going to be working there anymore. Um, but anyways, she texted me this morning. <clears throat> And even though I already had a feeling of what it was going to be, she texted me that and I said, well, you know, I can um, come in in the morning and um, I let her know what time because she asked what time if I was able to. And so I told her and then something in me just like said that I should ask her, you know, am I being fired? Because I've been wondering this for like the last week. Um for those of you who don't know, I tested positive for COVID almost three weeks ago now. So this week, as of Wednesday, a couple of days from now, would be three weeks since I tested positive for COVID. And I have not been able to work in that entire time because basically once I got COVID, she never let me come back. Um, <clears throat> so now after I told her that, I asked her if I was being fired and her response was, um, no, you're not being fired, but we have to let you go because of financial reasons, which I totally understand because, you know, shortly after I took this church secretary position is when I, you know, I became aware of the financial issues that the church was having. I have talked about this in a couple different videos on my channel. Um, <clears throat> however, I feel like my boss could have handled this a lot more professionally and in a different manner than how she did. Um, because I feel like I have been kind of strung along for the last couple weeks. Um, because technically the health department said I only needed to stay out of work for five days. Um, then my boss told me I couldn't return to work until I had a negative COVID test. And, um, it took 14 days since I tested positive. It took 14 days to um, finally get a negative COVID test. And so tomorrow would have been the day that I could finally return to work. And now I can't because I don't work there anymore. Um, <clears throat> so I am in a really negative mood today because of this. And like my day started out really good. I was listening to music, waiting for the satellite internet installer to come. Um, I was listening to music and there was a little bird that was outside on the grill and he was kind of like dancing with the music that I was listening to and I was just in a really good mood and then I got that text from my boss and ever since then my mood has just kind of just <sighs> and the problem is you know I like I said I actually enjoyed this job it worked out perfect for me as far as like with my school schedule and everything like that because I was able to make my own schedule and um you know I was able to make my own schedule and I could kind of schedule everything around school and other stuff that was going on like medical appointments that I have and things like that and I can't do that now because I don't work there um, so that's going to be the difficulty in looking for another job. I have put in multiple applications already. And, um, like I said, the problem is going to be finding something that is flexible enough to be willing to work with my school schedule. Um, and yet also allow me to make money. 
I'm just really like, I cried when she told me that they were letting me go. Even though I know that it was nothing that I have done, you know, to cause this, it's strictly financial issues. Um, <clears throat> like the church cannot afford to pay me anymore is, you know, what's going on. But I cried. Like I felt like a failure when she told me that. And even though I knew that it wasn't my fault, like I said, I just still felt awful. Um, and she did say that she would give me a good recommendation or whatever, but like, I don't even want to see her at this point because like I said, I feel like I've been strung along because I've been asking her, you know, ever since I got the negative COVID test, I have been asking her, you know, every couple days or so I've been asking her, you know, can I return to work? Am I going to be allowed to return to work? Because I have bills that I need to pay and, you know, to even to file for unemployment, I can't do that because I tried to go in and file for unemployment um, when she had told me that I couldn't return to work until I got a negative COVID test. Um, I had gone in to try to file for unemployment and they don't exist in the system in Michigan um, because it lets you search by like the name of the company it lets you search by the address of the company. So I tried both of those things and it didn't show up at all. Um, so I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, like I said, I have put in applications and I've been talking to a couple different people about different options that might be available to me. I do have my work from home job still, but like summertime, they tend to slow down for some reason. Um, it's like they don't add more patients in the summertime or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because people are like traveling and outside and camping and stuff like that. But for whatever reason, like once it starts getting nice outside, they tend to slow down. <clears throat> so there hasn't been as much work available there. And then to have this happen, you know, this was at least $200 every two weeks that I could count on. Um, and now I just have nothing because I haven't worked since, you know, April 17th or whatever. So I don't know. I just feel like it could have been handled a lot differently. And I feel like she could have not just blindsided me today with this. But anyways, I'm trying to return to a positive mood because I was having a good day and it's Mother's Day and I had bought ribs and we had ribs for dinner, um, barbecue beef ribs. Um, but yeah, I don't, I just don't know. So keep me in your thoughts and prayers and I'll talk to you guys next time.